Though they are backed by the best trained and most qualified maintenance teams available, real pros, whether airline pilots or professional truck drivers, wouldn't consider starting a trip until they properly check their equipment. Their precious cargo and their own safety and well-being is far too important to risk. And just like a pilot is responsible for his jet and passengers, you are responsible for your rig and its cargo. And any decision regarding its roadworthiness and safety rests with you, the driver. For the professional truck driver, a proper check of his vehicle's tires could be the most critical part of that pre-trip inspection. Tires are of critical importance for several reasons. One major reason is that the air inside those tires is actually carrying the load. And if they aren't properly inflated, there could be big problems down the road. Underinflated tires generate heat, and heat is a tire's worst enemy. With a modern radial tire, as much as five degrees of additional heat is generated for every two pounds of underinflation. That means a tire carrying a heavy load, which is say 20 pounds underinflated, could be operating up to 50 degrees hotter than it should be. And that's enough heat to blow a tire apart, generating all that scrap rubber you see on our highways. Since tires fall only behind labor and fuel and the cost of operating a fleet, there are a couple other critical reasons for good tire maintenance. Properly inflated tires will maximize fuel mileage and cut operating costs for your fleet. Improperly inflated tires will not only reduce fuel mileage, but will experience an early trip to the scrap pile. Even a worn casing can represent a 30% loss in the tire investment if it is run flat and is not suitable for retreading. So, what does the professional driver look for as he inspects the tires on his rig? First, it is important to understand that with the modern radial tires, it is not possible to determine if a tire is properly inflated by striking it with a wooden bat or tire iron. A quality air gauge is the only tool which can tell you if the tire is properly inflated. Anytime the air pressure is 20% lower than the desired pressure, the tire should be considered flat and must be removed to identify the cause and to properly repair the tire. While performing the pre-trip inspection, it is also important that the driver watches out for cuts, injuries, or foreign objects that might be stuck in the tire. Spotting an injury before the truck leaves can save valuable time that might be lost with a road failure. It can also result in saving the tire casing, which would most probably be destroyed if it traveled any substantial distance without the proper amount of air. When an injury is spotted, don't settle for a quick plug that will get you back on the road. Make sure the tire is removed and properly repaired by a trained tire technician. There are several other reasons for pulling a tire before starting a trip. Let's take a look at some of those out-of-service tire conditions and what you need to look for during your pre-trip inspection. Insufficient tread depth is one of those conditions. 430 seconds on the steer axle and 230 seconds for all other positions is the legal tread depth limit. However, become familiar with your company's own pull limitations. In some instances, they may be more stringent in an effort to maximize the number of casings salvaged for retreading. In the crown area of the tire, keep an eye out for exposed belt cables, tread bulge, tread chunking or tearing, tread groove cracking, tread edge loosening, and tires that are worn too far or have irregular wear. Also, crown puncture is another out-of-service condition that may be found in the crown area of the tire during a pre-trip inspection. Your inspection should also include a good look at the sidewall area. The following conditions should cause you to remove the tire before leaving on a trip. Cracking of the tire below the bond line, sidewall cracking, ply turnip, shoulder bulge or rupture, sidewall blisters and bumps, sidewall abrasions, a sidewall rupture or a sidewall radial bulge. If any one of these problems goes unchecked, it could result in driving a tire under low pressure, which will eventually run it flat and destroy it. The pre-trip inspection includes many other important safety concerns, such as burned out lights on both the tractor and trailer, fluids which might be leaking from radiator hoses or wheel bearings and hubs damaged air hoses, 
broken mirrors, springs and spring hangers. There is also a need to check slack adjusters and look for cracks in the wheels and rims. However, nothing can be more critical than the air you're riding on and the containers or tires holding that air. In addition to all the safety issues, there's also a substantial investment in tires. The actual cost depends upon the size of your truck and the number of tires required. It takes between $5,000 and $6,000 to put 18 new tires on a rig. Even a truck with only four or six wheel positions could cost almost $1,000. Each time you operate that truck with tires in an out of service condition, you risk destroying your tire investment as well as endangering your safety and the safety of the other motorists who share the road with you. So take a close look at those tires and check for possible conditions that would make it necessary to take those tires out of service before you start your trip. A few minutes is all it takes. Be a real professional. Make sure your pre-trip inspection keeps you safe prevents en route delays and helps your company maintain the lowest possible operating costs.